Okay, so I'm wandering around the warehouse looking for something. Um, right, yeah, it was uh, mounting brackets for these. Uh, didn't find them, not the point. Point is, I found this. A Rubbermaid bin in gray. No, that's not what's important. What's important is what's inside. This is the original motherboard and graphics card from the mineral oil cooled PC. Out of their oil and, oh my gosh, absolutely disgusting. Let's find out if they still work. After I tell you about EK's Phoenix lineup of modular water cooling systems. It's their next generation modular AIO and you can check them out now at the link in the video description. So the dealio here is that we actually refurbished this machine around the time of LTX last year with the intention of showing it off there. So we pulled off some of the stickers that were kind of peeling off, replaced the motherboard, um, replaced the graphics card with something more modern. So it's got a 1070 in there now, and then never actually successfully repaired the tank. We think it might be working now, but the previous attempts we've made have just resulted in it cracking again almost immediately. And to replace this thing, look, there's a dead fly in it. That's disgusting. Uh, to replace this thing would have cost like a thousand dollars from a custom acrylic shop. So that stuff's all gonna stay there because ideally I really would like to fix it at some point. But in the meantime, I totally forgot about the motherboard and graphics card. I wanna know if they still work. So let's grab some test bench hardware here. Ooh. Our options are 5960X or 5930K. I guess that's the least valuable thing that we might wreck, so let's grab that. Okay, so my options are use my crappier test bench, but then I have to put a power supply in it, or use my better one, but then I'm gonna get mineral oil on it, I'm lazy. So I guess we're using this one. This stuff is just nasty and it like spreads everywhere. It's basically like glitter, except it doesn't even look sparkly and fun. So there are a couple of things to contend with when it comes to mineral oil. Now the main thing is the like mineral oil all over the place, but the big problem is that mineral oil has a nasty habit of degrading plastics and rubbers and really a, a lot of things that it comes in contact with. So one of the things that's gonna be a challenge here is you can see this memory slot just snapped off when we went to open it up. And at least one of the pins is actually bent inside the slot there. So what we're gonna try and do is lift that back up and see if we can get uh, a stick working in there. You know, it's actually not in terrible shape, all things considered. I mean, it's like furry because it's been sitting out in the warehouse during the renovation and it's been covered in mineral oil. The theory, the theory, if you talk to the mineral oil enthusiasts, they'll be like, oh yeah, you just leave it out, drip dry for a few weeks, no problem. Until you wanna to touch it. So let's just, let's isolate our variables here. Let's try just the motherboard first, then we'll try it with the graphics card that was soaked in oil. Oh, I am excited right about now. I mean, if this thing works, I don't even, I don't even know what we do with it, but like, Max's PC, is that what you were gonna say? No, 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 no. No, you don't want the mineral oil cooled? Okay, so the reason we wanna try just the motherboard without this card first is because we've got two potentially like jank ass components here. So if it doesn't work, we wanna know that it's down to one of them. So we wanna make sure the motherboard works first so we can troubleshoot anything there then we'll try the graphics card. Because if we just put the graphics card and the motherboard on and it didn't boot up, we wouldn't know what the actual issue was. Look, I even went and got paper towel. I and mean, why am I still wiping this on my pants? You know what? Screw it. Let's get this show on the road. People paid good money to be here. Ow! Watch this video. Damn, that hurt. Okay, hey, we got postcodes. Like, that's a good sign. Check this out. 32, 4F, 79. Look at this, it's got like a big long hair on it. It's gross. Hey, look at that. No problem. Let's see how much RAM we've got detected here. 12 gigs, shoot. 
That doesn't seem like an insurmountable problem. Okay. Oh wow, this memory is like, it's wet. Contrary to what people might think, I don't actually want to go out of my way to destroy hardware. No! It just kind of happens, you know? So one of them is just not making contact at all right now. And then there's another four here that are all just exposed. They're no longer supported. Okay, I'm not gonna put in that last stick this time, but if we see 12 gigs this time, oh, it's seeping all over the card! It's not an ESD safe cleaning method but it's better than having mineral oil all over it. Let's throw the last stick in. I wanna see 16 gigs, cause it could still actually be something in the CPU socket that was damaged. And then that would be another reason why we would have one of the dims not showing up. In fact, it might've been not that stick all this time. I actually don't know. Got it. Mangled RAM slot repaired. No idea how stable it'll be, but that's a problem for another day. Damn, I'm good sometimes. Some people get excited by, you no, know, like, I don't know, naked people. This gets me excited. Look at this. Here we are on the desktop. Let's just run a quick stress test, I guess. hoop a doop Okay, so we didn't run the full 15 minutes or anything like that. What are we sitting at? Eight minutes. But at this point, it did not immediately crack. Let's go ahead and shut this down then and find out if the graphics card works. So looking at this, you can see actually there's not a lot of external damage to it. So these stickers all faded. You can see the text will just wipe off. So not bad. So whether they intended to or not, EVGA made a pretty much mineral oil proof graphics card. So if I'm turned on by hardware, seeing it suffer like this, is that like a weird thing? If you're not comfortable having the door closed right now, we can open it. <laughs> this is Alex's drive, not mine. Okay, so the driver install was a little bit weird. Um, see if we can run us some uh, 4K Rise of the Tomb Raider. Bam! I don't even know if this card's capable of that. A 780, this is even pre-780 Ti. We did this build a long time ago. Wow, I'm getting old. I mean, one thing I was concerned about was whether it would still stay adequately cool. I mean, it has the benefit of having one of the best graphics card coolers available. I mean, how many heat pipes does this thing have? I don't think anyone has a lot invested in whether I've got this right or not. What? You guys hear that? You guys hear that short? So that's not posting. Something I had forgotten about is this motherboard actually got three caps soldered back onto it once it came out of the oil. They were just like loose. So it's possible that there's been damage to the graphics card. Oh, oh, it's dead. Damn. You know, I thought, I thought we had a miraculous success story for you guys today. Well, good night, sweet prince, and hello, the sponsor of this video. LG just announced the new Gram 2018, and they are hosting a giveaway for it. Yes, my friends. So you can enter through YouTube, Instagram, or Facebook in a few different ways. On YouTube, leave a comment on the new LG Gram video telling LG what you love about the Gram. On Instagram, leave a comment answering one of the questions asked within the video description using hashtag LG Gram and hashtag like Gram. And on Facebook, leave a video comment of you parodying one of the scenes from LG's announcement video using any object. So no, don't worry, you don't have to juggle your current laptop or whatever the case may be. Once you enter, you can win a 13.3 inch LG Gram or a $50 Amazon gift card. So go check out the details at the link in the video description. All right, so thanks for watching guys. If you just like this video, you can hit that button. But if you like this video, hit like, get subscribed, maybe consider checking out where to buy the stuff we featured. I don't think there's, yeah, I fix it kit, I don't know, whatever. Uh, in the video description also down there is our merch store, which has cool shirts like this one and our community forum, which you should totally join.